registration system. And all I wanted to ask was, can you tell me what you stand for without yes. doublespeak? Well, I would hope. I hope so, too. The problem with government today, and the reason, reason that nobody has any confidence in, in, in the state right. uh, is that they don't know what their tax dollars are buying. Okay. There's no, there's, there's no uh, system by which they're, they're, we are regularly informed about how valuable or invaluable or unvaluable are the services Absolutely. that are being provided by the, by the public. So, you look at uh, mental health or corrections or some of these things, and, and nobody seems capable of reporting on how many people are coming into the criminal justice system who've been there before and should have been, quote, corrected at some earlier stage. Right. Very little data on uh, things like how, how useful is our mental health system in actually helping people to get back into uh, the life again. And those, that information exists, but it, it isn't presented in that way. And what happens is we wind up with uh, bureaucrats, people in charge of these systems, coming forward and saying, well, I must be important and I'm, I need money because I am managing this many beds. And we say, well, we're not buying, we don't care about, the public should be saying, we don't care about beds, we care about whether this mission that you have of making people better and improving right. their lives is how successful are you in delivering the product that we want, which is not You're beds, not, by the way. Can I ask a question? You're not really talking about government becoming accountable, are you? Accountable and transparent. Well, that would be nice. I, would, and, I agree with that. And then we could say, all right, well, these kinds of services are worth less or worth more, and the, we would be able to value. Uh, right now, there's a tendency within the system for the bureau, the people that are that are hired to run to to serve their lives as right. government employees to say well, I don't want anybody to hold me personally accountable for the job that I'm doing so I will talk to them about how many people I have working for me oh that must make me important and therefore entitle me to a higher salary we don't really the public doesn't care about these pyramids right I've known some people who are heads of departments that work for the state of yep. Maine and they have a budget and at the end of the year, when they haven't spent all their money, they go out and they spend right. it so they can have the budget the next year. Are you talking about making uh, the government run like a business so that they don't do that sort of thing? Yeah. Because not, that's the sure. sort of thing that the government has been doing for years. Okay, so fiscally, I agree with you. Okay, fiscally, my I agree with my you. My sister, unfortunately, she's a Democrat, but she just took over the Attorney General's office. Yeah? She just laid off three lawyers. And, she, and you know what happened? They had a problem in the sense that nobody had ever done that before and didn't know how. I, I'm sure. So they worked their way through it and they did it. Yeah. And it was no fault, you know, big, but there were three people, they just didn't need as many lawyers. So she, and everybody is, you know what happened? Yeah. The rest of the department is very excited about being cooperative and helpful and coming forward with new ideas and everybody wants to prove their value. I like what you're saying. But that's, that's not done in state government. No, it's not. You get a job with state government, you're guaranteed a job with state government. Pretty much forever. I know. What about um, social issues? Where do you stand on social issues? Oh, you probably won't care for my views on social issues. Well, I, I don't wrote, know whether You I know what I, my attitude is? Tell me. I think the Republican Party needs to get moving again, and that means it needs to take on an issue, a I series agree. of issues that that are truly important to the management of government, the ones that we've just been talking right, about. Right, those are important. So long as the party remains divided over abortion, gay marriage, what else? Those two uh, anyway. Yeah, those are the two big ones, two of the big then, ones. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's a fight inside the party as much as anything. I agree. So I voted, uh, I've always, I think that abortions ought to be infrequent and rare and discouraged, but on the other hand, I don't think they should be illegal. I think the people that given, I think that women should have a right to choose. I think that's part of my basic conservatism. That okay. The government shouldn't enter into telling people what they can do with their lives any more than is necessary to protect the very legitimate rights of a fetus that's maturing. Well, first of all, it's, what is a fetus? It's a small human being. It is a, it is How big does a human being get before you can't kill anymore? It's very hard to answer that question, but Roe v. Wade came up with an answer. Yeah, and the person that actually brought up Roe v. Wade, she actually has recanted. So what I'm saying... This is Mrs. Roe. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so the point I'm getting at is that how big does a human get being get? 
or what is the well, thing that tells a, the us standard that the Supreme the Court stand the standard that the Supreme Court has articulated is that if the fetus is reaching a point of viability, that the state has every right to step in at that point and say, no, 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 we've got we've got a human being here. What's that's the more point of viability? Potential. It's it's about uh, uh, two to three months. What makes it more viable? Because it can live outside. Exactly. Okay. So early, we're talking about first trimester abortions. In the second trimester, it becomes highly. So the smaller a human being is, the less rights they have. I wouldn't put it that way. Well, I know you wouldn't, but I just did. I know you do. But that's all the difference is between well, the third trimester and the fourth. Well, I mean, the, the first point, trimester and the second. Let me just explain. Look at what nature does. Right. When there is a when there is a conception in the womb, ten percent of them spontaneously abort. Don't implant. Don't I make it. That. Don't even make it be. The, nature herself aborts thousands of them every year. Nature, so I mean, so nature it, I mean, kills one-year-olds too. So do we be able to kill one-year-olds? No. Okay. That's all my point is. My point is that there is no difference other than size. Period. Mm -hmm. Really. And and I, I just wanted to know how you felt about mm -hmm. it. Uh, I think that now I know abortions ought to be discouraged, and I think that I Maine, I like Maine that. has reduced the number of abortions consistently over the last twenty or thirty years. Actually, through, they're being reduced anyway over throughout yeah. the country because of information. Information when, now that people control. actually can see inside the womb, which they couldn't before, it has made a difference. Mm -hmm. so, I, I, I think know. you know what it's 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 I think, it, it is already going down. I, I it, just it I is. Just and my, to know how you felt. my prediction is. And I appreciate your honesty. My prediction, <laughs> my prediction is that twenty or thirty years from now, there may not be any need for the discussion. I hope so. Be, I, I think be, I kind of agree.